Hi, we wanted to come on here today and share with you a, an experiment that we did for my children's school project this year. Uh, the title of the experiment was The Power of Words, and we used um, two jars of rice. We took uh, the same rice and we put it in two separate jars, labeling one love and one hate. And then for 30 days every day, we would speak words of kindness and love to the love jar. And then to the hate jar, we would project hate or say hateful things to the hate jar. We started this experiment in January. And when um, the experiment ended, we ended, we actually continued it and it has still gone on, which has now been um, over five months. And we wanted to share the results with you today. So um, what I wanted to share was that the rice looked exactly the same when we began. There was nothing different about it. We never opened the jars or anything. Uh, and until day five, they started to look different. And that was, um, there was a, a one day where there was a lot of um, anger, frustration, and a meltdown occurring in our house. And um, lots of kicking and screaming and yelling. And that's when I said, here, hold this hate jar while you do that. And so it was very like real anger and hatred going on at that time that we put into that rice. And then it was the very next day that that hate rice began to look different. So I wanna share with you what the results are after five and a half months of this experiment. We haven't really done anything with the rice other than have it sitting on the counter for the last four months. But here's our love jar, the rice, still looks pretty white, which is, I found quite shocking. A little bit of color discoloration on the bottom, um, as opposed to our hate rice, which is really nasty, moldy, black, brown, really gross. Um, and this is based on the study of Dr. Masuru Emoto, who took the same concept and would apply a certain word or phrase on a water crystal, or I'm sorry, just a water droplet and then flash freeze the water and then observe the water crystal, the form of it under a microscope. And he was able to, to show that the words or the emotion behind the phrase of the words definitely impacted the structure, the form of the crystal. This experiment to me proved that uh, sound and intention does create matter, it, it creates form. And the different uh, sounds and words that we tell ourselves and the music that we listen to or the stories that we, sh we, we observe or share with ourselves um, play over and over in our heads, they have an impact on our bodies. Our bodies are made of a uh, majority of water, over somewhere between 60 to 80 percent, I hear. Um, so if, if words and emotion can have that impact on rice or water crystal, just imagine the impact that it can have on our bodies and on our health overall. So thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Again, here are our, our results, quite shocking. Feel free to do this experiment on your own. And um, my recommendations is just to keep the two jars in the same environment. Uh, out of direct sunlight so that they're under the same conditions. Don't open the jars. Just when you speak to it or project your emotion to it, I always pick it up and hold it. And that's it's really simple, that's it. Um, I'd love to see and hear the results that you have. So please uh, share that if you do the experiment or if you have any questions. Thank you so much.
Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.